here. Today I want to briefly consider the SADES A6 USB type gaming headset. Now at the end of this video I will also include a microphone test to give you an example of how these sound. Um, I'm not using any aftermarket programs to clean it up. I use Audacity to, um, to record it and I note any specifications in there that are used but it's very very minimal. Now something I want to note about Fit is the way these are designed they're not really made to adjust that easily. I'm not sure that they're made to adjust at all, but I'll note that in a minute. Now, when you're looking at the design, since there's no adjustment, that's kind of a negative when it comes to someone with a large head. You know, if you're really tall or you've just got a fat head, that's not a, a really good thing. What you're going to have is these flare out on you, and then the cuffs are going to bow down. So you're going to have an area where the sound does not walk off as well. Now, I was able to actually adjust them. You can see the divoting where I push this up. And again, I'm not sure if you're able, you're supposed to be able to do that or not, but I was. You know, there's actually a screws inside, so you may be able to loosen them up. Um, I just... I just basically forced it up. Now, you can see that I forced it almost all the way to the top, but it makes the fit loads better for me. In fact, I'm actually happy with the fit now, but again, that initial feel I was not thrilled with, so that's just something to consider there. I'm not taking off anything from that right now because I was able to push it up, and again, the fit is good. I like this overall type of the design, too, the cradling design, where you do not have a lot of padding in the top. You have some padding, but it's pretty firm. It's still softer than having a rail riding on your head, but you're not talking about too much padding here. All your padding is really around your ears, where it really should be. You know, when you're you're talking about padding this design like this, especially when you're talking about a, a cradle this size. You have plenty of area for your ear to fit in, and it's going to lock off, so you don't have sound leakage bothering anyone around you. And also, with something that doesn't bother a lot of people around you, you have the LED light-up effect, which is not overwhelmingly bright. It's um. It's there, but again, it's not going to bother people that you're around. So I think that's a, a good thing. You know, you don't want anybody that you're gaming with to be disturbed by anything that you're doing. You want them concentrating on, you know, your team needs. So again, I think that's pretty good. You have the, the basic USB style hookup. So it's just literally plug and play. And when you're looking at the functionality, there's a lot of just simple control here. You know, you have your up down adjustment and you have your buttons for microphone or microphone off and you have your your mute and your sound button and that's basically it there you know again it's a a very easy to use type headset it has a lightweight uh, the good thing about it is it doesn't have a lot of controls on the headset when you're talking about wanting to keep something light the less you have there the better you know, um, the cord is also pretty well made. It's got that, it's not um, coated with an extra protection or anything, but it's it's pretty well made. The uh, one thing I can say with the uh, SADES headsets are that all their cords have actually lasted really well. I've been happy with that. And I do have a few accidents every now and then where I end up getting upset, um, you know, pacing around and pulling something out. Um, also, the, the cord on this is really long. You can see how much room I still have here. So... It's plugged in, by the way, so you can really get a feel for how far away you can move. You know, you can set far away from your set, and you still have move, room to get up, move around, gloat, do whatever you need to do. All right, well, that's about it. Again, I'll put a microphone test at the end of this, and um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks. This is a test of the Anvo MKR01 microphone. This is done in Audacity. Uh, the Audacity settings are actually utilizing uh, decibel levels currently at even level, so there's no output differential. The um, the microphone boost through Windows is actually at plus 20 or plus 30. I can't uh, remember. You know, you can always adjust that depending. I'm also trying this out with noise suppression and acoustic echo cancellation through Windows, again, which is just typical microphone front mic settings.